Hi folks, today I'm going to show you how to deploy your app to production fairly simple using GitHooks as a deployment pipeline. Let me show you how that works. I've got a simple Node.js server running here, displaying a, a simple page, and I'm going to make a quick change. I'm going to commit that change. And then I'm going to push to production server the new commit uh, from master. Done, we go back to the browser, refresh the page. Ta-da, we just deployed with a git push. This is pretty cool, right? I'm going to show you how to do this. In order to get started, you need two things. You need an app running that's versioned with git because we're going to use the git version control to push the new code to the server. And you'll need this app to be running on a VPS where you have access with SSH so you can log into it because we're going to log into the server and set up our deployment pipeline. Let's get started. First, we're going to create an empty repository that will receive our git push commands from our laptop. I'm going to do this on the server side. I'm logged in into my production server here and I'm going to create a repository by typing in git init dash dash bear and then uh, the name of the repository i'm going to name this after the name of my project and i'm going to post fix it with dot git so i know this is not a regular repository but just an empty shell you can name it after whatever you want it doesn't matter you can also place it in a different uh, place i'm going to place it in my home folder here so that's done next we're going to create a post receive hook this hook will make sure to check out the project files and do whatever steps necessary to deploy the latest code into production. So stuff like selling in dependencies and um, restarting the server. I'm going to place the post receive hook in the repository we just created. So let's uh, go inside. What we're looking for is the hooks folder so we're going to go in there then we're going to create a file and edit it at the same time with nano editor called uh, post receive there we are and inside the file we're going to type a few stuff first of all the first line is the start of a, a bash file then we're going to check out the uh, files by typing in dash dash work tree and this is the location of the actual folder where the where the project will live and you need to type in an absolute path to the folder so mine is in uh, my home folder home slash maxim slash the name of the project next we're going to use the dash dash git dash there flag and specify the path to our empty git repository Then we're actually going to check out the files with the checkout command. Dash F flag, make sure that the checkout will never fail. Uh, the checkout can fail in case that if, for example, you make some changes on a production server, some local changes in the file, so you don't commit those. Git will notice there's some modified files that haven't been committed. Checking the new code out will uh, lose them. And in most cases, you don't want that. But uh, in our case, we will ignore any local changes made and we'll just make sure that whenever we push, we'll have the latest code deployed to, to our live server. And then we're going to install any dependencies. Uh, so in here, you can do anything really that needs to happen before you deploy the new code live and restart the server. In my case, I just want to install the dependency. So I'm going to cd into the project folder and then do an npm install. Lastly, we're going to restart the app because I'm using pm2. I'm going to use pm2 to do that. And with the reload command, it's going to restart the app with zero downtime, meaning it'll spin up a new web server. And then as soon as that web server is running up, successfully it'll shut down the old one so there will be for your users no perceived downtime that's about it i'm going to save the file with control o 
enter control x quiz one important step that you should definitely not forget is to make the file executable with a, a chmod command so i'm going to type in chmod plus x and then the path to the file if you don't do this then the post to save hook will not run and uh, your deployment will fail so make sure you do this okay this is good next step back to the local machine into your repository we're going to add the production server as a git remote we do this with git remote add and then prod i'm going to name mine prod but you can name yours live or deploy or production whatever you choose and then the ssh path to your production server starting with the user at and then the ip of your server and this is mine at the moment and then the file path to the empty git repository because that's the one that's going to receive our push and like this i'm using a relative path here but you can also use an absolute path starting with the forward slash like this would work as well but because we're in the home folder already i'm going to make use of the relative path and then i'm going to push it for the first time i'm using the dash u command so it tracks the remote ahead relative to our current head and i'm going to push to the production server and i'm going to push the master branch everything should work correctly back to the server and to the app no changes still running okay let's uh, verify that it's working so i'm going to make a change and commit it first hi this is a demonstration of git hooks okay made a change oh i need to close this paragraph yeah i'm going to commit this change by actually adding the file yes to simply deploy your new changes you push to your production server like this and then going back to the app we're starting yes we see the changes so it's as easy as that from now on whenever you want to deploy you just push to the production server and the post receive hook will run and your changes should appear live pretty quickly do you want to see more similar cool stuff like this then subscribe to my channel to not miss the next video see you next time